Hey y'all, welcome back to Ascending with Ashley. I'm Ashley. This is part three of What the Fuck. Story time. Oh my god. <laughs> so I went to my neighbor's house <laughs> to peace offering and let him know, like, hey, not a snitch. This is my neighbor, like, directly next to me. Um, like, my address is a half. Like, we share an address. Um, and, you know, I'm standing there. I took Niall in the wagon. Niall's running all around his yard like a crazy kiddo. And, um, as we're talking, dude walks by, okay? Lawrence is his name. And I called Keith, and I said, hey, uh, he just walked by. Keith is landlord. Um, should I call the cops? And he's like, yeah, I think they're looking for him, call him. Um, and so I called the cops. I said, hey, uh, I called, I made a, filed a report earlier about my neighbor who's been shooting his gun in his house. Um, and he just walked by, and he was like, can you describe what he's wearing? I'm like, yeah, like, involved in a manhunt. Ugh, awesome. <laughs> and then, I didn't hear anything, you know, they were like, okay, I'll send someone. He fo he found the report, and he was like, okay, uh, I'll send someone. And then, now I wanted to play outside, um, and I, like, left my neighbor's house, because I'm like, I don't want him to go in my house. I'm like, now I don't have any vision of that, you know? We don't know what's going on with this man. Um, so anyway, um, I came home because I like didn't lock my door to walk 20 feet. That's stupid. Um, but our front doors are on different sides. So anyway, um, I came home and uh, now I wanted to play outside. So we go out in the yard um, and he walks by to go in his house on the other block. Um, and I had like called my mom and told her like what happened. I'm like, oh my God, I just had to call the cops again. Um, and like describe his clothing and stuff. And then, so I called the cops. I text Keith. I said he's home right now because Keith was really trying to get over there and like cuss him out. Um, and then I called the cops and I'm like, hey, uh, I just called, but he's at his house now. Like, if you could send an officer. Um, and they're like, okay, yeah, awesome, we'll do that. And then I'm like, okay. And then a cop shows up at my house. I'm on the phone with my friend telling her like what just happened. Cop shows up in my house again. They came too deep twice today when I asked to be anonymous. Just a tip for y'all. Um, and he was like, why are you calling us? I'm like, what? <laughs> He's like, we were wondering why you were calling us. Like, the officers this afternoon got a hold of him and, like, got in the house. He's like, Officer Larson is very smart. And I said, I'm not questioning intelligence. I'm letting you guys know that this man is fucking out of his goddamn mind and has a gun and is shooting it at all of his fucking neighbors, okay? Um, and then the other cop came out of the car and, like, was standing there and butch... You know, women cops are the worst if you're a woman dealing with police. They have, like, crazy power struggles, okay? So when I saw a chick, butch chick come out, I'm like, oh, fuck, here we go. But she didn't say anything. And then so he was like, we can't do anything until you hear something. He's like, the officer this morning that you made the report, you said that you heard something on New Year's. I said, this started around New Year's. I said, that's different than hearing it one time. I said, these cops have post-noted his house he, there are 17 bullet holes 17 um and he's like who post noted them i'm like you're larson sir um and tugs tubs the guy that responded the guy that i filed the report with and then they were like well there's nothing we can do um we have to prove it and i said well what about keith because keith said he was going to kick him out and he was like, there's an eviction process. And I was like, oh, is there? Um, because it sounded like Keith was about to pull him, you know, fucking give him a giant gnarly wedgie and kick him to the curb, literally. Um, so then the, I called my friend back because I was on the phone with her when they pulled up. I'm like, oh, fuck, here we go. Um, and then they left they're like there's nothing we can do if you hear it again call us and then we'll respond i'm like oh yeah i'll definitely do that you guys have been so helpful um <laughs> so um then i hear my dogs going crazy how they do when keith comes because keith always he's a landlord so he gives treats to like gain entrance you know um so my woodstock of course is like row, 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 that's my favorite human row, row, give me a treat bitch and so I look on my bedroom window because I can, you know, fully see the fucking neighbor's house and all the bullet holes from right here. Um, and I said, oh my God, Keith's here right now. 
And, you know, I can't hear him, but I'm saying, what the fuck is this? And then I see Lauren's going, oh, what are you talking about? And I'm saying, Kita, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and so I was, like, talking to my friend. And I'm like, should I call my landlord? And then I'm like, I'm going to call my other friend that I had called earlier. Because they're also an abolitionist. And so that's why I called them to be like, hmm, how would you handle this situation? I reached out to them last night. Um, so they've been in on this too. Because I'm just like, you know, relying on the system when you don't believe in the system is bullshit. And this is why. Because they don't do shit until someone gets hurt. Um, this man lives across the street from a middle school. Like, not to mention my own son, but like, come on, y'all. With school shootings, like, my mom's like, oh, they'll take that super seriously. No, they don't give a fuck. You know, they don't give a fuck. Um, and my neighbor also was like, that's, every bullet hole should be a felony, you know? Like, or is a felony. So that's 17 plus 2 for just using a firearm um, within a certain distance of other structures and also using a firearm within a structure. That's almost 20 felonies and they can't arrest them. This is why we're abolitionists and why we create a better system because that's absolute bullshit. Uh, makes no sense. And, you know, I sent a couple of my friends the photos and I'm like, my one guy is like, that looks like a fucking, like a shootout happened. <laughs> um... So anyway, right after I see the landlord over there, um, he calls me, and I'm still on the phone with my friend. I'm like, ooh, I'll text you what happens. So I answer the call. I'm like, hey. He's like, that motherfucker is moving right now. He's like, I'm moving him out to, um, you know, the middle of nowhere, which is where our land is. Um, and I said, don't put him by my land. And he's like, no, it's on the other side. There's, like, a highway that splits it. So he'll be, like five miles south of us awesome but we're not going back there because he's fixed the situation we're staying here i want to stay in this house for the next couple of years i want the homestead to be completely ready to receive us as we are living now right that includes all of it right off grid or a little bit on grid either way it's my property um and i don't want to live like rugged off grid again that was not for us <laughs> new no. so anyway um, he said that he will move him out this weekend. He said, um, you know, and then it's like, and that's what, you know, baby daddy said. He's like, he needs to be out where you guys are. So if he wants to shoot, he can shoot. You know, you can't shoot other people and structures. But, you know, if he wants to shoot, he's out in the middle of fucking desert. Go ahead. And that's what he said. He's like, if he wants to, you know, shoot at invisible Wookiees out there, he can, you know, whatever. So, my landlord's like, don't worry about it tonight. Get some good fucking sleep. I'm taking care of the situation. And I told him, I'm like, good, because the cops aren't doing shit, you know? And I told him, I'm like, I don't want to go to fucking cops. I'm sorry that I did. He's like, it does not bother me. You did the right thing. Um, I'm like, I don't like them either. They don't do shit, you know? <laughs> like, so, um, yeah. So... By the end of this weekend, um, we should have our fence covering, and hopefully he will be gone. Um, and then my landlord was like, um, so that's a three-bedroom house, and it's going to be vacant. And I'm like, put a nice family in there. Like, get me some other kids for my son, you know? Like, put a family there. And he's like, well, I'll have you vet them. <laughs> he's like, you'll sign off on them. I'm like, I'm not asking for all that. I'm asking for, you know, someone who's not going to shoot at me while I'm sleeping. That's all. <laughs> that's all. I'm not picky. <laughs> you know? So, um, that's the situation. That's where we're at. Mm -hmm. I will... Um, let you know, uh, when he's gone, but he said, he's like, I'm gonna have my flatbed here tomorrow. I told him to pack up his shit. He's out. Um, and I told him he absolutely can't do that again. Oh, like a little baby foot. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I hope you all have a good one. And, um, hello. <laughs> we will talk to you later. Have a good one. <laughs>